Getting the D3D version of Populous, or also known as the hardware mode, to work in Windows 10 has always been a bit of a pain in the butt. If you've been unsuccessful yourself, I'm going to show you now two successful methods to get it working. First things first, if you check the description of this YouTube video, you'll be able to see a link to the new D3D Populous.zip. Download that, open it, you'll be where I am now. Then we want to run this program here, poptb underscore hw, a sensor hardware. Windows might give you a warning before you're saying this, saying it's unsafe, it's perfectly fine. This will install Populous Beginning How to Patch 1.0 on your computer, yada yada yada. All you have to do is you have to go to Next, and then you would choose your destination folder, which would be your Populous Bullfrog folder. For me, this is not this one, mine would be in Local Disk Games, so you may have to select that one yourself. Now before you do it, you may want to make a backup of the previous one, so if you check your Populous folder, you've got D3D Pop TB. To make a backup, you could simply just rename it and just call it like I normally do with other things, just old. And then we will run this. A desktop icon would be good, so you have it already there, ready for you to start playing. It does its thing. Click finish, and you can see here the new XE is in your popular folder. Run that via the shortcut that was created, and the game should work for you in hardware mode. Okay, method two is to use a program called DG Voodoo 2. Google it, or the website's here, or I'll have it in the description below if you want to go through it. What you do is you download the program, put it into the Populous folder, and you'll have this here, DG Voodoo CPL, Control Panel, I believe that stands for. Now, if you want to avoid doing this setup yourself, I have provided a copy of my files of the DG Voodoo setup in the YouTube description. So you can just open that zip, put it straight into the Populous folder, and run the game, and it should work for you. But if you want to do this yourself, you would open up DG Voodoo CPL. Make sure the correct path is selected, so I'm in C Games Bullfrog Populous. You want to change this here to use your dedicated graphics, so rather than use my laptop's Intel, we use the NVIDIA GeForce, it forces us to do that. We we'll then go to DirectX, make sure this is GeForce 4 Ti 4800, and that's it basically guys. You can uncheck the DG watermark, but you might want to keep that on the first time to make sure it works. Hit apply, hit OK. These three files here would then be created along with a one called the DG Voodoo config file. So then you would have five files in here and that would set you up ready for the D3D mode. Now if you're like me and it still doesn't work, what you want to do is combine methods one and two. So what I did was I used the, the new patched version of the D3D mode and included the, the files in here. And I run it and it works just fine. By just fine, I mean it takes a few tries to get the game working. It still will crash upon starting, but on that magical turn when it does work, it'll work until you close the game down. So just keep trying. A little footnote is that the DD Voodoo EXE doesn't work too well with a populous reincarnated matchmaker, at least for me anyway. So your best bet to play multiplayer will be using method 1, and if that doesn't work for you, you might just be stuck with single player, I'm afraid.